Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to inform you all that this month I am growing out my facial hair all in the name of charity, and if you guys donate, you're going to get something back in return. I'm trying to hit the goal of £250. Right now, we're over halfway there, just £120 to go, so donate, guys. It's linked in the description. If we do get to £250, I'll do some sort of forfeit, I'll do a giveaway, and in the month of December, you'll be getting a lot of videos, so be sure to donate to get those rewards. And yeah, I wanted to make sure you guys are getting given back to, uh, and yeah, it's all for a good cause. It's for mental health awareness, uh, cancer research, so check it out, link below. What's going on guys, it's Tom, or Top Ten Wrestling, and welcome back to another video on the channel. First of all, I'm so sorry for the lack of uploads. Guys, I've been catching up with university work, but it's all good now. I handed in my work on my deadline with Gucci for now. And today, we're going to be talking about the TNA career of one of the most successful knockouts who actually hated TNA and Dixie Carter while working there and has some crazy allegations about how TNA conducted themselves, which we'll be discussing at the end of this video. Before we do get into it though, I would like to thank my Patreon backers all listed here. Be sure to check out my Patreon, check out my Movember page, and check out my second channel where I just have posted a video hopefully when this case came out hopefully but yeah let's stop wasting time and let's get into the video hey this is your Olympic hero Kurt Angle and you are watching top 10 wrestling oh it's true it's damn true the TNA knockout we are talking about today is Tara, or as Americans pronounce it, Tara. Uh, I'm British, so I say Tara. Sorry, not sorry. And if you don't like the way I pronounce it, then shut up or I'll smack you one. Wait, wait, that's not my catchphrase. Yeah, wrong channel. First of all, let's discuss Tara's journey in wrestling before coming to TNA and what she was doing beforehand. Tara's real name is Lisa Marie Varon, and in 2000, Lisa moved to Los Angeles to work as a trainer at a gym. Prior to this, Varon had been involved in bodybuilding, and it is at this gym where she met China, who encouraged her to start a career in pro wrestling, and that she did. She sent her info to WWF, she started training at the UPW school, a school that trained the likes of John Cena, Edge, Samoa Joe, The Miz, Christian, Christopher Daniels, among others. Lisa took on the ring name of head bitch in charge and she impressed the WWF scout Bruce Pritchard at her first show and would make her first appearance for the WWF as one of Godfather's hoes, being referred to as the head ho and eventually taking up the name of Victoria and being sent down to OVW. She returned to the main roster in July 2002 and in November of that year she beat Trish Stratus to become the women's champion. She defended the title against the likes of Trish and Jacqueline and would lose the title back to Trish at Mania 19 in a three-way match also with Jazz. She would win the title once more in February of 2004 and would defend it against Molly Holly in a hair versus hair title match at Mania 20 which Victoria won giving Molly Holly her head shaved and she'd lose the title to Trish once again in June. And then from here Victoria Loki didn't really do all that much in WWE. She was part of Vince's Devils with Tori Wilson and Candice Michelle. She faced Carlito in an intergender match in December 2005 and nearly won. And for the next four years in WWE, she was very underutilized. She had title shots here and there, played both face and heel, but ultimately never won the title again and would retire from WWE in January 2009. But not really because she wrestled one final time at the WrestleMania 25 Divas Battle Royal three months later. You know, the one that Santino won. It looked like Victoria was going to be done with wrestling, but then on May 24th, 2009, TNA confirmed that Victoria had signed with them and she debuted on the May 28th episode of Impact, attacking the beautiful people with the new ring name of Tara, establishing herself as a baby face and she would begin feuding with the beautiful people all leading up to a title match 
on the July 9th episode of Impact, where Tara won the knockouts title against Angelina Love and has already cemented herself as the top knockout. But then she lost it back to Angelina two weeks later after the beautiful people seduced the ref at Victory Road. One of the only good matches on the show to be fair. She wouldn't challenge for the title again until Bound for Glory where ODB was now champion and defended it successfully against Tara and Awesome Kong. The next month at Turning Point, Tara would face Awesome Kong in a Six Sides of Steel match where Tara won and it was an awesome match and probably my favourite match of her entire wrestling career. Genuinely, go watch it. It was a really good match. And then the next month, Tara would win the Knockouts title once again at Final Resolution, the final pay-per-view of 2009, by defeating ODB and becoming a two-time Knockouts champion. Tara was on a roll, having good match after good match, and she was the top Knockout once again. She lost the title two weeks later, back to ODB on the first Monday Impact on January 4th, 2010, the, the infamous episode that I talk about nearly every video. But she'd win it back at the next pay-per-view Genesis in a 2 out of 3 falls match, making her a 3 time champion and this time she wouldn't lose it after 2 weeks. She would defend the title against Daphne at Destination X, but then she would lose it to Angelina Love in April in that awful lockbox challenge. Ugh. At lockdown, Tara would turn heel on Angelina Love and become a heel in TNA, which was surprising because on April 28th, she posted on her MySpace page announcing she was leaving TNA due to not receiving a pay increase. And at Sacrifice, Madison Rain, who is now the champion, this knockout division is so confusing, she would defeat Tara in a career versus title match. So Tara was seemingly out the company. But at Victory Road 2010, a mysterious masked woman who mysteriously had the same build of Tara began helping Madison Rain. And sure enough, in the next weeks, the woman was unmasked and revealed as Tara, who was back now and aligned with Madison in a storyline where Tara wasn't signed with TNA, but rather she had a contract with Madison. Kind of weird, whatever. Tara would help Madison Rain retain the title, but at Bound for Glory in a four-way match between Madison, Tara, Velvet Sky, and Angelina Love for the title, Tara won, and Madison was not happy. So, Tara was now a four-time champion, but then on the following impact, Tara was forced to surrender the title to Madison. So, Tara has now won the title four times, and probably totals about three months as champion at most, like... What's going on here? In the next few months, she'd feud with Mickey James and even make it to the final of a tournament for the Knockouts Tag Titles along with Madison, but they would lose. Tara would stay as Madison Reigns' side piece until Sacrifice 2011 when she was let out of her contract with Madison, turned back face, and beat Madison up. Following the breakup of her and Madison, Tara would quickly form a new team called TNT, along with Brooke Tessmacher, and they would very quickly win the TNA Knockouts Tag Titles in the summer of 2011. So, Tara is being used again well, and she wouldn't lose these titles after two weeks, thank god. They would hold the titles for approximately five months until November, losing them to the odd pairing of Gail Kim and Madison Rain. 2012, for the most part, was a bit of a quiet year for Tara. She was still teamed with Brooke, who had now won the Knockouts Championship twice and was now the champion in August. At No Surrender, Tara challenged Brooke for the title in a losing effort, and on the following episode of Impact, she turned heel once again by turning on Brooke and attacking her, and the two had a match set for Bound for Glory for the title once again. Leading up to this match, Tara was teasing the arrival of her brand new Hollywood boyfriend. And at Bound for Glory, Tara would defeat Brooke to win the title and become the new and five-time, 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 five-time knockout champion. And then she would reveal her Hollywood boyfriend, Jesse Godders, a Big Brother contestant who the fans chanted, Who are you? And... The two made out. I guess, I guess he's Hollywood? Maybe? Kind of? 
Throughout Tara's TNA Knockouts title reign, her and Jessie would have an on-screen relationship, and I gotta say, it was very entertaining. The first feud she entered with upon winning the title was with ODB, who was also teamed up with Eric Young, so they had a bit of a, a battle of the couples, and it was a very entertaining feud. But Tara managed to keep the title by the skin of her teeth. She'd retain the title against the likes of Brooke and Mickey James, of course with help from Jesse, who the two of them truly were the most obnoxious couple of all time, but it was very entertaining. And she would lose the title at the start of 2013, losing it to Velvet Sky. And from here, she was never really used by TNA properly again. She was relegated to Explosion and was released from her TNA contract on July 16th, 2013, having just over four years with the company. So as I said at the start of this video, Tara hated TNA. She hated working there and thought that TNA did some very poor decisions and hurt a lot of wrestlers. Let's go some things that she claimed about TNA. First of all, she claimed that TNA actually paid her tarantula handler more than they did for her when she was working in the ring. So yeah, Tara had a pet tarantula, had to have a handler obviously because it's like a deadly animal, and apparently that handler got paid more than her, which is unbelievable. She also says apparently TNA had a Taco Tuesday which featured very unhealthy meal options for the athletes and also just said there was weak pay which can obviously be reinforced by the fact she was originally going to leave TNA after like a year because of the fact she wasn't getting a pay rise and she also said that Dixie Carter was very disrespectful and just made her absolutely loathe TNA. Either way, I gotta say I enjoyed Tara's run, I wish they let her do bowl with her knockouts title reigns, and I wish maybe she was around for a bit longer, but she had some good matches, she was entertaining, and was very consistent, and I'll probably give her run an A, if anything, just due to how good she was herself. And that's gonna be it for this video guys, if you did enjoy then be sure to smack that like button, sorry for the long wait on videos, I'm promised I'm gonna be uploading again soon, check out my November page guys, like I said, if we hit the goal, then December is going to be a hell of a good month and Christmas is going to be great. Top 10 Wrestling Advent Calendar, potentially. We'll see. Maybe that's unrealistic, but there will be lots of videos if we hit that £250 goal. Either way, see you all soon. Goodbye and keep on rolling.